Hey YouTube, it's Sean with Griffin RC Planes. Hey, here's a quick video. I just want to show you guys that I recently bought a uh, secondhand Spectrum AR630 receiver. And the first thing I want to do is to see if it's registered by anybody else. Hopefully not. Then I want to register it. And then I want to uh, make sure it's got all the current updates in it. So I'm going to try something I haven't done yet and record my computer screen and just show you guys how I go about uh, connecting to the Spectrum programmer and updater and checking. So let's see how this goes. So I've got the Spectrum program USB cable. Plugging that in the side of the computer. Then take the Spectrum USB program cable and I'm going to plug it into the receiver and the very first port where it says bind and program with the orange wire up and then lay it flat on the desk or whatever your computer's on just in case it needs to calibrate the gyro there we go like so Spectrum AR630 receiver that I had just bought second hand and I'm connected to the Spectrum updater app and I'm going to power the cable in the top right hand corner just one click and then in the middle of the screen where it says power cable I'm going to click that now the receivers lit up and I can see what software level it has in it uh, 2.38 and I can also see the serial number and you can use that information right here to go to the Spectrum website and register your into the website under uh, I, th I think it's my spectrum but we're gonna close out of this and go to the Spectrum program rep next so I have the Spectrum AR630 receiver I just purchased second hand and I need to make sure that it's not registered to anybody else and I need to register it to my Spectrum account so the way I'm doing this is I've gone to the Spectrum programmer app and I'm gonna click power cable in the top right hand corner and then in the middle of the screen it says power cable again and it says the model settings don't match and that means the model that's in the receiver doesn't match what I have in the models and I don't care at this time because I'm gonna custom program it myself but I want to check for software updates and it says I need to log in to check for my update and I'm gonna give this a nickname of uh, 630 number two and I just clicked register it and that means that it was not previously registered and it's now registered to my account so now I can get updates and and I can do all kinds of stuff with it so we're done here and I'm just gonna click power cable in the top right to disconnect it well that's the first thing I do when I get a secondhand receiver is to see if it's registered hopefully it's not then try to update it if it needs an update if it doesn't then then we're good if you ever get one secondhand and it is registered try to get in touch with the person you bought it from and get them to unregister it if that's not possible send spectrum an email and it takes about now no longer than two weeks and they'll release it I've never come across a case where they don't release them I've probably bought between transmitters and receivers 20 to 30 and I've had four of them registered that I had to get released and I've never had a problem so hey uh, if any of my videos have helped anybody out or just giving you guys a little entertainment please click subscribe and like and share it with your friends also for those of you that are waiting on our report card Tomorrow, which is Wednesday, 
I'll be putting together the video showing all our current stats and I should have it uploaded uh, tomorrow Wednesday night so okay guys hey thank you so much until next time you'll see me here